it's getting pretty warm in California. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Matt M and this past week I've been feeling very appreciated by the community because of hashtag feed the frontliners. By the way, how'd you like my new intro? If you like it, give it a thumbs up or comment down below because that would really help my channel grow. For today's video, we will be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I applied for ASCP. Don't be overwhelmed because we will go through it together. Wow together <laughs> okay first let's define what's ASCP ASCPI is a certifying body so that MLS graduates can work on the state that they choose this is a 150 minute exam with 100 items you need to score 400 out of 1000 to pass I don't know the math there but you'll figure it out. Lastly, before we go through the video tutorial, I would like to thank you all for the overwhelming positive support I got on my first video. Link is up above. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. My social media handle is at it's Matt M. So yeah, let's get started. Hello everyone, it's Matt M, voiceover edition. The first thing you have to do is to open up the browser you want to use and then type in www ASCP.org and then hit enter. If this is your first time seeing the website, then welcome to the ASCP homepage. Click log in on the upper right hand corner of the screen and then you will be asked to fill up your personal information. After filling it up, press create account and then they will ask you to fill up some more personal information. Please note that the fields with the asterisks are the ones that they require you to fill up. Then hit create account. After creating your account, it will automatically direct you to your dashboard. Scroll all the way down and hit the board of certification button. After it loads, this is the BOC menu. Scroll halfway down and you will see an apply for credentials button and then you will be directed to this page. Now you have to look for the apply for an exam button. Hit the international certifications button and only click this button if you are an international graduate. This means that you are applying for the ASCPI, which is the international certification. And if you are a graduate here in the US, hit the US certifications or the state licensure. After hitting the international certifications button, the set of options should appear. If you graduated with a degree in BMLS, or BSMLS or BSMT, you will most likely hit the MLS button. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky because you should identify which route you should be on. Reading this part will save you a lot of trouble later on. Route 1 is for MLS graduates and those who completed a 6-month or 1-year clinical internship rotation. Route 2 is for people who are MLS graduates with 3 years of clinical experience. Route 3 is for any bachelor's degree holder of any approved university by ASCPI with two years of clinical internship rotation. Route 4 is for bachelor's degree holder in biology or chemistry with five years of clinical experience. Lastly, Route 5 is for bachelor's degree holder from any approved university by ASCPI with 5 years of clinical experience. This is a recap of everything I just said. In summary, if you are in the same boat as me, choose Route 1. To know what kind of situation I am in, check out my previous video. I will add it on the cards above. I'll say this again for emphasis. 6 months or 1 year internship doesn't matter because the International Medical Laboratory scientist certification is a completely different story from applying for the California CLS license. I will also be uploading a video related to applying for the California Department of Public Health Laboratory Field Services California CLS license. Stay tuned! Now all we have to do is hit the apply now button. After hitting the apply now button, you will be asked to verify the email you use for your account. Type in your email address and then tick the box regarding the email verification process then hit 
OK. Return to the BOC main page and then check your email inbox because you are supposed to see an email that looks a lot like this. And then now you should click the link. After clicking their link, you will be sent to this page. In this page, you should verify your personal information then hit next. Now this is your exam application. Scroll down and look for the International Medical Laboratory Scientist category and this is where the information I taught you earlier will come in handy. Choose your route. In my case, it was Route 1. And then, choose your country of education. For me, it was the Philippines. And then hit next. Now, you have to fill up information regarding your educational history. Add the name of your university by clicking the Add Institution button. Hit the Institution Lookup and then add the address of your school. For me, it was Silang, Cavite, and there it goes. Adventist University of the Philippines showed up. Shout out to my fellow Aupians. Shine on forever. Fill up the rest of the information. And now, this is where you have to look at your transcript of record. Because the last thing you want is for your dates to be mismatched. From your transcript of records, type in the specific date you first started college. And then, type in the day you graduated. Now, it's time to type in your alternate contact details. Then, hit the next button and then tick the boxes to agree that you reviewed your personal information and then hit next again. Now it's time to pay for what you added to your card. You can do it through credit or debit, which I did, but I don't know how the check method works. Hit continue, and then you will receive an email which will look a lot like this. This signifies that your application has now started processing. If you are in the same situation as me, wherein you don't have your PRC number, join the club <laughs> because the next couple of email threads is for you. You are supposed to receive an email which will look a lot like this that states that you need to complete a couple more steps before you can apply for the exam. This is the advantage of having a PRC number. You can skip this step. You should hit the button below where my screen recording didn't capture that. I am so sorry about that. You should be directed to a link which states this. It shows you what requirements you are lacking. The good thing about ASCP is that everything is paperless, meaning you can just send an email to this email address but if you would rather do it old school you can go to your university registrar and ask them to send a university stamped and sealed copy of your transcript of records to this address i sent mine via email because i live far away from my university and traveling there wouldn't be cost effective for me this is my email template and you can copy it if you want and then i added a few texts on the body like my name and customer id and of course never forget to attach your transcript of records in this email. Once in a while, you should check your ASCP account because you should see something like this. They will tell you if you are already qualified to schedule and take your exam. What should you do next after seeing this? They will send you a link to pearsonview.com. Hover through the test taker part and schedule your exam. Look for ASCP BOC. Create a Pearson View account. Then you will receive a confirmation in your email. It should look something like this. Go back to the Pearson View website and then sign in using your Pearson View account. After filling up your personal information for the nth time, finally you can now schedule your exam. After scheduling, you will receive your final confirmation in your email and it should look something like this. FYI, there are only two testing sites in the Philippines. They are both in Makati, one in Trident Towers, and another in Misnet Education. It doesn't matter which one you choose. They both carry the same exam. If you reach this part of the tutorial, you are now ready to take your exam. Break a leg. After taking your exam, it will show you if you pass or fail right away. It is written in a very tiny font. So don't hit next without reading each slide of your exam. And then a couple of days later, you should receive an email that looks something like this. And once you hit the view now button, you should be directed to this page. Hit view results. That's it. You can either print out your results and there is this third party verification request button which will be tackled on my future video regarding California CLS licensing. Stay tuned! Wow, you're still here? Was that TMI? Before this video ends, I would like to give a special shout out to my parents and siblings who generously donated my camera, my tripod, my mic that I'm using. If you have any video idea suggestions or 
content that you want me to cover, please comment down below. I would really appreciate it and I would like to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video and I wish everyone watching this video well. Give my channel some love by subscribing and giving it a thumbs up because this will really help my channel grow. And everyone, never, never, never forget to wash your hands and I will see you on my next video. Bye! Thank you.